forward to this uh, session of the Security Council on transboundary water issues. In order to fulfill the sustainable development goals, everyone on the planet needs access to uh, clean water and sanitation, uh, and that will, in turn, will involve resolving any transboundary water issues. Uh, and that's an example of prevention. So we strongly support the Secretary General's uh, focus on prevention, preventive diplomacy, making sure that wherever there are disputes in relation to, to water, that those are resolved before they uh, spiral downwards into conflict. Ambassador, what's happening with the Yemen PRST? And um, do you have anything to say about the special envoy being um, rejected by the Houthis? Well, we continue to support uh, Ismail Uchik Ahmed, who is uh, the UN Special Envoy for Yemen. He's doing a good job in very difficult circumstances. Uh, the Security Council uh, agrees uh, with that assessment. Uh, I hope that it'll be possible in the coming days to agree a presidential statement that will express that support for him, that will encourage the parties to get back to the UN-led political talks, and that will shine a spotlight on the humanitarian crisis in Yemen, which now with a cholera outbreak is even worse than it was before. And that just requires us to do even more to redouble our efforts on a political solution. Going back to transboundary water disputes, does the UN or the Security Council have a role in trying to help settle these disputes? And as you know, there are many. Yes, it can do absolutely. If uh, if if that is uh, if that is going to be helpful to the to the parties, then I think the Security Council needs to take a view on it on on the maintenance of international peace and security. That is our job, according to the UN Charter, uh, and uh, I, I look forward to working with the Libyan presidency and others uh, in fulfilling that job. Ambassador, do you think part uh, economic, and not uh, in terms of uh, simply protecting one's national territory? When you look at any particular issue like the Lake Chad Basin, for instance, what you realise when you go there, as we did uh, in the British presidency in March, is how everything else, everything is interconnected with everything else. You cannot just look at the economic, you cannot just look at the humanitarian, you cannot just look at the counter-terrorism, you cannot just look at migration, you cannot just look at uh, economic development. Everything is related to everything else. And so to get a real, genuine, sustainable resolution to any of these underlying issues requires a long-term perspective and an integrated approach. Do you have any comment on Saudi Arabia cutting ties with uh, Qatar and some other GCC countries as well, and any concerns about how this might affect other regional issues, including the fight against the Islamic State? The United Kingdom has a, has a strong uh, alliance with, with all of the GCC countries and, we, and with the GCC collectively, and we hope that uh, GCC unity can be restored as soon as possible. Does the UK think that the Secretary General should do his own inquiry into the death of the two experts in the DRC? Nikki Haley has called for that as well as for the Human Rights Council to do it. Which do you think should happen or either? Well, we want to just get to the truth. We want, we want those uh, who are responsible for the devastating murder of the two UN officials to be held to account. So whichever way we'll get to the truth, we support. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Bye. Thank you, Ambassador.